Good morning, my lovelies. It is Monday morning. The Victory in Biz Accountability and Success Call. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> so the fingers. Uh, so nice to see all of you. I'm Vanessa, your confidence and success coach. And we are here, as always, on our Monday morning to get ourselves started off in high gear for a super successful week by either sharing wins or we, we sometimes talk, we mostly talk about our number one goal of the week. However, uh, today I want us to share some wins. I want to see what's been going on in everyone's business that has been fun and that has been exciting and that feels like you are moving rapidly forward and that things are um, are growing, right? And that we're all building and um, becoming more successful. So welcome. Hi, Michael. Nice to see you. Hi, Tommy. Welcome. Hi, Katrina. I think I've said hello to everybody. So today, instead of stating our number one goal, like we did last week, this week, I'd like everyone to briefly share uh, what's going on that's new in your business, or if you have a win to share with us, please do so. So, and then after that, if we have any time left over, I'm going to talk about um, five steps we all can take to manifest more wealth in our lives, right? All right. So as everyone's coming on, hi, Wendy. Let's, uh, Dr. Quell, help, welcome. All right. Let's start with you, Laura. Uh, very briefly, any wins or anything new, exciting going on in your business? I got a quick one of each. My first meeting for my meetup group went well, uh, even though it was Good Friday. There was four people and made some connections. Um, and new and exciting is Don Livingstone and I are going to be splitting a Achieve TV channel called uh, Voyage to Vitality. And my particular channel will be called Mindful Mondays with Laura Cross. And I've already created the word. So that'll be launching okay. end of July, beginning of August. But we're working on it. Mindful Mondays. I love that. Congratulations, Laura, and congratulations on your Connect and Collaborate meeting that went fabulous. Thank you. So happy to hear that happening. Kim, I have you next up on my screen. Uh, Conrad. Kim Conrad. There was two of us on this screen. Um, Hi, Kim yeah. Randall. Um, fellow sister in Kim Kimdom here. Um, so this week, um, I don't have shows for a couple weeks. And my client, I've got a client that's making incredible progress from a new, um, we're calling him home enrichment that we're doing, um, making progress on YouTube with shorts now, because the algorithms I understand have been merged with longer videos. So you've got to have shorts. Um, without the tops, no short, only shorts, and um, making progress on the logo, on my logo, which is neat. And um, without a show, I've had income come in from three different sources. So that's really fantastic, nice. Kim. Yeah. Well done. We're all celebrating with you. Fantastic, guys. I love sharing these wins. It's so important to do that to remind ourselves what we've been up to and what we are doing that's working. Fantastic. Beatrice. Praise the Lord and God bless y'all this morning. I pray you all had a wonderful weekend. Um, my win is I had my second day of my um, how to get over yourself and let go of the past relaunch. And I am mailing a copy of one of my books. Uh, Hold it close to your body. To Australia. Okay, so oh, I'll, be, wow. I'll be getting that exit one way or the other. It may not be British, it may not be South African, but it may be Australian. So God bless y'all. Have a good day. Wonderful, Beatrice. Thanks for sharing. Miss Kim Randall, you're up next. If it'll unmute. There we awesome. So the last couple of weeks, I've been able to get out there with the foundation and have had a poker tournament and then also over this past weekend did an event for a local grand opening and raised over $400 for the foundation there and was able to partner with Aiden's Backpack Club. So Karen's part of Achieve as well. So that was great. 
And then looking forward to partnering with Jeff Pearson and getting on his radio show here in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Wow, awesome. Yay. Fantastic, Kim. Thanks for sharing. Well done. Uh, Robert and Noel. Let's start with the beautiful Noel here. Uh, <laughs> morning, everybody. Um, it is a beautiful day out, isn't it? Um, yeah. My win was I was able to write and send off a chapter for a compilation book for uh, a new book that I offered to be a part of. So that was really exciting. And it's a very personal chapter because this was my story for my surgery a couple of years ago. So it's it was really uh, it was really good to get it down on paper and excited to send that off. Yes, fantastic, Noel. Congratulations, and you, Robert. What's happening? So, <clears throat> relaunching as the life coach for business owners, helping business owners take their life back from their business, and uh, we're coming up on our three hundredth podcast episode. And I'm just going to throw a shout out to. Mr. Michael Silvers, because his episode's in the queue, and we just recorded with him last week, and it just obviously a fantastic conversation. Um, pretty cool. I think we're going to have all of the guests that are speakers at the June conference will be on our show before the conference, so we'll be using that as a promotion opportunity for Achieves Conference. Yay! See, these collaborations, you guys, awesome. Thank you so much, Robert, and yes, thank you for always... Uh, you know, showing up and, and doing your thing, you and Noel both. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that episode or hearing that episode with Michael. It's gonna be awesome. Looking forward to that. Thank you, guys. Uh, so for those of you who just joined, we are sharing wins and successes today or anything in your business that's exciting at the moment to you. Phyllis, what's happening? Always tons. <laughs> <laughs> very busy all the time okay so uh last week at when this week is all about completion so um i'm working with rob to get our networking with a purpose certification done high level networking with a purpose how to make money not just go out there and uh network but how to monetize it and how to monetize it correctly and so uh we're waiting on we're, we're just putting it all together it's just about done and uh working with the beautiful Beatrice Bruno uh, to finish the edit on my book, The Journey from Employee to Entrepreneur. That's kind of like my life work and uh, just super excited. It will be going into pre-launch, uh, pre-sale soon, and I'll have copies at uh, the June conference. Yay, fantastic, wonderful, Phyllis. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, I Take a minute, um, Dawn Henson. Welcome, honey. I would love to. So Dawn is one of our newest members. And uh, who here, does anyone here, who doesn't know Dawn? Give me, who doesn't know Dawn Henson? All right, Dawn, I'm going to have you introduce yourself here. Tell everyone who you are and uh, what you do. Okie dokie. Well, thank you so much. And I apologize in advance for the kids in the background. I am a mom of five uh, young ones, 12, 10, 5, 3, and 1. So they're all very young. <laughs> Four boys, one girl. I am an adolescent growth coach. And what I do is I work with preteens and teens to help them with their life skills, their time management, focus, organization, all that type of stuff. Um, and in addition to that, also helping them with financial literacy and entrepreneurship. So really excited um, to be able to be here and share this with you guys and collaborate with you. Um, my win is that I had my first uh, financial literacy workshop at our local library here last Monday, and I have a second one coming up next Monday, and I believe there's about 12 or more kids signed up. So I'm really excited. Uh, I have more scheduled in the future and just got approval for a uh, camp, a uh, financial literacy camp that's a week long at our local college. So I'm um, excited about that as well. Um, so, you know, it's exciting and nerve wracking and anxious, all those feelings, but, uh, you know, things are moving forward and and I'm, I'm very happy about that and happy to be here. And thanks to Vanessa for inviting me and Tommy for inviting me and, you know, all, all of you wonderful people that I can't wait to to meet. <laughs> Hey, welcome, Dawn. We're so excited. And of course, as you all know, she'll be a big part of our uh, Chief Kids 
venture. So that's fantastic. Thanks, Dawn. Uh, Katrina, you're up next, honey. What you got going on? Oh, lots of things. Um, right now, I am about to launch a, um, a lunch and learn series. So I'm really, really excited. Have my uh, you know good list of topics for that, and I'm about to kind of send it out to other businesses that would love to provide some additional um, wellness, fitness, and um, movement tips to their employees. So if any anybody here in this would love um, to talk, message me. I would love to connect and provide that. So they're like 20, 30 minute little lunch and learn. So really excited to launch that one and be more part of my community. Thank you, my love. Awesome. Yeah. Lunch and learns. Love it. Way to go forward. Fantastic. Uh, Sally, I'm going to skip you for now. I know you're driving. And so, um, Wendy, what's new and exciting or what win do you have to share with us? I have two wins. I got my first edit done with my videos with JC. And I have my approved book cover, if everybody yeah, can see it. It is beautiful. It looks so, gorgeous. Super uh, excited about that. And my goal for the week is to go camping and focus on writing my book while I'm in the mountains by the springs. Beautiful. Good what idea. a better, there's no better way to do that. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. Especially in this weather, man. Oh, yes. Well, thank you. Congratulations so much, Wendy. Thank that book cover looks beautiful. Thank you. Mr. Michael Silvers, you uh anything exciting, any new wins you would like to share with everybody here? You know, it's funny. I was you know, there, there's always stuff to share, right? <laughs> Kids stuff on a daily basis. But the thing I was thinking, I was talking to Mary this morning. And um, it, it, wins come from some of our wins because the last couple of weeks, obviously, with the huge productions we're doing, but that's been 30 years in the making. And to watch people, right, to say, you know, I always say you're on a three to five year journey in your business. So, yes, we are on a call today with a gentleman whose last event had 180,000 people online and we're going to probably produce the next one. But it's not because we're anything, it's because we've built relationships. We've taken our time and we've always been of service. And that that for both of us, I mean, she built Robin's research with Tony, but that for both of us this morning was huge. And so the win, that to me was the win today was it's a journey. Take your time. It's a minimum of three to five years. Some of us have been in a long time and just keep moving forward as long as you know you're being of service and making a difference. So true. Thank you, Michael. Always sharing such great nuggets and advice really appreciate that from you thank, thank you. you so much yes absolutely it is a journey and uh winds come and you know there's some are small some are big but it is it's a journey and you just got to keep moving forward and they they will keep coming but it's so important that we do acknowledge them all right uh mac good to see you honey how are you only terrific Wonderful. What yeah. win do you have to share with us today? Well, the the last couple of weeks have been kind of crazy. I mean, a lot going on, good crazy. Um, it what the realization that has happened is uh, having to remain fluid. Um, I was supposed to leave Saturday to start driving to Florida. And on Friday, something came up and uh, I canceled that trip and uh, I'm leaving tomorrow for Vegas for uh, a major appointment, uh, and, you know, in the outdoor market. And I'm very fortunate that I can do that. As I've always said, you know, I can be driving down the road and if I have to turn right, I can turn right. Uh, and, and so many people get so caught up that they got to be rigid in dealing with business. And for me, that's not accurate. You know, I can turn around and go the other direction and uh, uh, take care of something that... Uh, just happens to be more important. Well, thank you, Mac. Yes, absolutely. Also good advice there. 
as entrepreneurs, we have to be able to change direction when necessary. And as you call it, be fluid. I love that analogy. Be fluid, be able to adapt and adjust as we go along. Otherwise, there's no way uh, if, if we're just trying to be rigid and set in our ways, it's really, really difficult to be successful in business. Thank you, Mac. Fantastic. Tommy, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. What's Thank happening? you. Oh, lots <laughs> happening in my world. Uh, I am grateful, though, for a personal level that I have finally gotten back because you changed the time to noon for me, Eastern, which is actually works for me. Um, but I got back to doing Monday motivational lives. And for those of you who don't know me, I started about in 2021. I would do one every single Monday morning at 9 a.m. And then I found myself, I don't know, after six months or so making excuses why not to do it. Um, so being real with myself, I, I set a goal that uh, this year I was going to get back to them. And it took me till April, but uh, I just did one. And I actually ended it saying that you will. it was my fourth one in a row saying that um, you will now see me live 11.45 a.m. Eastern because I'm dedicated to a 12 p.m. Eastern accountability call. And if they wanted to yes. know more about it, reach out to me. So I put myself out there and now I have to stand behind it. So I'm very proud of myself. And I found out it actually helps me. And here yes. I was getting a lot of people saying, hey, please do it again, help me. But it also helps me. So if I can just help one person and bless one person a day, then... I've done my job. God has put me on this earth to do, which is bless somebody every single day. So that's what I do. That's what uh, I, I look forward to seeing everybody in June. By the way, I'm in Pasadena, Maryland on the East Coast, but I'm coming out to Colorado in June. I can't wait. See you all then. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Tommy. And well done. Glad that you're back on it. You go. Fabulous. Anthony, Mr. Pritchard. What's happening? All right, Vanessa. Hi, thanks. <laughs> I hired a VA a couple of weeks ago to do some lead mining for me. So I'm doing some cold outreach to my niche market, which is construction companies, construction trades, and um, automating the marketing with my CRM. So as soon as she mines the lead, they go into a, a funnel and a drip. And my lead magnet is that I will schedule an appointment with them to, to give them, to write with them a free one minute video script. Okay. That's, that's guaranteed to generate more traffic and leads for your business. Fantastic. So that's I was gonna put it, I was going to put it in the uh, chat here. If anybody on the call would like to sign up for a free one minute video script, I'd be happy to, to do that. You would give me some excellent practice and help oh. me refine my lead gen system. There you go, guys. That's a win-win right there. Okay. Help Anthony refine his system. And at the same time, you get your free one minute video script. Thank you, Anthony. Fantastic. Way to go. Um, Dr. Quell, welcome, honey. How are you, Larry? Very what good. Is, yes. What when do you have to share with us today? Well, actually, working with Anthony, do you hear me? Okay. Yes. Working with Anthony now, starting to schedule people uh, to do testimonials for yes. the, the, the work. We've got that going. And uh, it's real exciting to see this because sometimes you wonder if you really help anybody, you know. So when you start seeing these testimonials, you go, whoa, this is pretty cool, you know. So it's pretty exciting. I'm really excited to be doing this. Yes, that was so cool, Larry. Hey, Dr. Quell, we just published your first video. Guess how many views we got? One? 825. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! You do good Yay! work. This guy does well, good that, work, people. That is a huge win right there. Yeah. Congratulations, Larry. Fantastic. Yeah. And thanks for sharing. Thanks for sharing that, Anthony. What a great way to start the week. All right, Tammy, good to see you. It was wonderful to see you Friday evening. 
what do you have going on that is a win for you right now? I love the the little uh, happy, <laughs> happy um, frame there. <laughs> well, <laughs> basically, my win win was to be able to show up to show up to the event that Craig put on, and I'm yes. trying to focus on being accountable, like everybody else is saying, you know, to um, showing up, to showing up to, I've always been that way. I mean, since day one, since I first went to your first event, I've been to every one of your events. And it's not yes. exactly like Max said, you know, you can financially, you struggle for a while, but you'll, if you show up, you're going to be there, you're going to get there. And you've got the people to help you get there. Just like being on this call today, I wouldn't have the opportunity to do this, what he, Anthony just offered, if I wasn't on the call. Correct. So that's, Correct. that's kind of one of my upscales. But my other is, when I, I have to be honest, when I first went to my first event, I was like, I'll never write a book. I'll never do that. I'll never do that. But the fact, the matter is, I am doing it. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So that's where I am. I'm Tammy working to get doing everything it. together. Fantastic. Congratulations, Tammy. Great, great, great share there. People showing up is so important. And it's not not just for us, for others. Um, but when you when you show up, that brings visibility, and visibility brings more connection, and more connection brings more business, right? And opportunities. Yes. All kinds of opportunities. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, Sue, you're up next. Good to see you, honey. Welcome. Hello. We're traveling back from Florida right now. Just pulled into a rust area. So um, my, I'm in process by the end of April, plan to have my um, landing page email and everything set up. And uh, okay. lead magnet. Okay, lead, lead magnets, email. Yeah, so important. Get that <laughs> stuff automated. <laughs> it's yeah, really always like helpful. To... Thank you. Yep. All right. Thank you for sharing, Sue. Fabulous. Leslie, the beautiful Leslie, what uh, wind do you have to share with us today? Arbaleda, are you there? I don't know if she's there. She's probably not able to talk right now. So, I, oh, I there you are. Unmute button work. I'm here, <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> How are you, love? Thank I'm you good. So How much are you? Time. I'm wonderful. Um, I the one I'm celebrating today is that I um have been working with a Celtic shaman and spiritual coach for about 15 years on and off. And last week she hired me as her business coach. And so I'm feeling very like the student has become the teacher. So thank you for the opportunity to share it. I'm sorry that I can't make my phone work better. I've been trying to get on oh, no. my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. Oh my God. No, that's awesome, sweetheart. Wow. What, um, what a wonderful, wonderful share. Thank you so much for sharing with us and congratulations. That truly is, uh, I'm sure, a very fulfilling feeling, being able to serve someone who served you for so long, right? I know I'm good, but I love it when other people that I think are good tell me I'm good. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks, Leslie. Thanks for sharing. All right. Last but not least, Natalia. What do you want to share? Oh, and I see Sally also. So Sally will have you next, okay? Natalia. Um, I am slowly, very slowly working through the group. I think it was this past week that I got in touch more with Barbara. She was doing some training. So I, I'm getting to know all of you better. And I'm also refocusing with just figuring out what it is that I'm planning on doing. Okay. And, um, yep. Good, good. It looks That's like, it. sounds like moving forward and that um, things are becoming more positive and affirming for Hopefully. you. Hopefully. Hopefully. 
<laughs> Thank you for sharing. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> Big fingers uh, crossed. <laughs> all good, sweetie. All good. Uh, Sally, can you speak, honey? Yes. Can you hear me? Yep. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, yes, so my first Wait, Wait No Longer starts next Sunday at 7 a.m. on Zoom. And weather permitting, we will meet with the start meeting with the horses the following Sunday. And I have four people signed up for that class. So I'm really excited to get started again. Congratulations, Sally. Fantastic. Yes, yes. I know you've been working on this for a while. And so it's really wonderful to see it coming to fruition. Fantastic. And I'm more excited to sh for people to, to have uh, to show results. That's what yes. I'm most excited about. So, yeah. And thank you for your class. Oh, you are welcome, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Well, everybody, did I miss anyone? Let me just ask that because that happens sometimes. My screen moves around. Everybody get a chance to talk? Uh, yes, looks like we are good. So we have only about four minutes left here. Um, I have five little nuggets. You know, I always share little principles or I don't really go into depth, but I just want to give you something to think about during the week something that you can work on, something actionable. And today I would like to share with you five steps that I think are important when it comes to manifesting wealth in your life. Uh, things that are so important for us to pay attention to. Uh, you know, uh, people always ask, there's, there's a lot going around about the law of attraction and how do I attract things in my life that I want? Um, but it is a process. It's, it's not, you know, and when you, when you make, certain things habits and we talk about habits and rituals all the time that makes these processes happen in our lives and and bring them to fruition and it's something that as we practice them we get better at them so today i want to just share with you five guides uh five steps to manifesting money in your life and a lot of you have heard this before i'm not saying this is all brand new but i want to re remind you and refresh your memory and bring back the awareness to these things because in the end it's about the awareness and then about taking action and doing the things right so number one is really defining your goal be very specific be very clear know what wealth represents to you um, all of us think of wealth in different ways and different languages for some of us it's money for some of us it's success for some of us it's that house or for some of us us it's just spending time with family right define what is wealth to you and and be very specific about what the goals you are for yourself regarding wealth prosperity okay so get very clear on those number two set a deadline um, create a deadline for yourself. If you set that goal, have a deadline, have a date at what time you want that to be to be coming to fruition. Sure, that day can be moved. Again, being fluid, being adjustable, but just setting that date is so important when it comes to manifesting anything in our lives, right? Right. So the third one, this one is very important, you guys. You always want to be aware of your words and your thoughts. Because the way we think and the words we choose to speak on a daily basis can negatively or positively affect our trajectory towards our goal and how fast we get there. Remember, your words and your thoughts are so powerful and they manifest in our lives the way we utter them. So please, please be mindful of the thoughts that you have and the words that you speak. Be positive, be affirming in your everyday communications with others. You don't want negativity to creep in there because that's going to slow down your process. Number four, cultivate an abundance mindset. Everybody knows that money or abundance is an expression of your own energy, right? So it's very important that every time you earn money or you spend money, that you're consciously aware of the energy 
that you put around it and behind it. Truly make money your friend, right? Thank money for all the opportunities that it gives you, um, right? And then number five, uncover your limiting beliefs. How many of you are truly aware of what those beliefs are that are limiting you on your path towards wealth, prosperity, success? And the key to that is really asking yourself when, when there's a negative feeling uh, coming in when you're doing your taxes or you're spending money or something on something, ask yourself, what is the feeling that I'm feeling surrounding this? Am I angry? Am I anxious? Do I feel hopeless? What is the feeling? Because once you identify that feeling, you can identify where it comes from and the limiting belief behind it. And of course, you guys, this is a lot deeper than just that. But I wanted to share this with you today, just so you have something this week. I want you to really focus on these five things this week and really assess where you are with that. And if you are, if you are implementing these five steps in your life every day, because this is precisely what's going to help you manifest those things in your life that you really, really want and are working towards. So thank you all for being here again. I wish you a fantastic week and I will see you next Monday, same time, same place. Bye everyone.